Welcome back to Mac Husay Mac 10 Tutorial. In this lesson, you will learn about Factor Theorem. Let's start. What is Factor Theorem? The polynomial P of X has X minus R as a factor if and only if P of R is equal to 0. This means that if P of R is equal to 0, then the binomial X minus R is a factor of P of X. Also, if X minus R is a factor of P of X, then the remainder should be equal to 0. Now, let's have these examples to determine whether the given divisor x minus r is a factor of a given polynomial p of x. Let's start. Example number 1. Show that x plus 2 is a factor of x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x minus 10. To show that x plus 2 is a factor of p of x, then p of r must be equal to 0. It means to say that if x plus 2 is a factor, then the remainder should be equal to 0. So, using the remainder theorem that we had earlier, so we plug in r in the given polynomial expression. Now, we plug in r. Now, our r is equal to negative 2 since if we equate the divisor equal to 0 so the value of x will be negative 2 so we have negative 2 raised to 3 plus 6 times negative 2 squared plus 3 times negative 2 minus 10 so simplifying this we have so negative 2 cubed that's negative 8 negative 2 squared, that's positive 4 times 6, so we have 24. So negative 2 times 3, negative 6 minus 10. So adding these terms, we have P of negative 2 equals 0. So in this case, since the remainder is 0 or P of negative 2 is 0, then X plus 2 is a factor of X cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x minus 10. Claro. Let's have another example. Number 2. Show that x minus 3 is a factor of 3x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 15. Now again, to show that x minus 3 is a factor of p of x, then P of R must be equal to 0. It means to say, when we plug in R in the given polynomial expression, it should be equal to 0. Or the remainder is equal to 0. So, we plug in our R, which is positive 3. So, 3 times 3 cubed plus 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 15. So, 3 cubed times 3, that's 81. 3 squared, that's 9. Negative 2 times 3 equals negative 6. Copy negative 15. So, P of 3 is equal to 69. In this case, our remainder is 69. Since P of 3 is equal to 69, and that tells us that the remainder is not equal to 0, then x minus 3 is not a factor of 3x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 15. That's how we identify whether the given binomial of the form x minus r is a factor of a given p of polynomial p of x. Claro. Let's have another example. Example number 3. Find the value of k for which the binomial x plus 4 is a factor of x to the 4th power plus kx cubed minus 4x squared. Now, in this problem, 
since it's already given that the binomial x plus 4 is a factor of x to the fourth power plus k x cubed minus 4x squared, then the remainder of that should be equal to 0, right? So we plug in negative 4 in the polynomial expression x to the fourth power plus k x cubed minus 4x squared. So we have 0 equals negative 4 to the fourth power plus k times negative 4 cubed minus 4 times the negative 4 squared. Take note again that p of negative 4 is equal to 0 because we already said that x plus 4 is a factor. So simplifying this, we have 0 is equal to 256 minus 64k minus 64. So simplifying this further, so we have 0 equals 192 minus 64k. So solving for k, 64k equals 192, dividing both sides of this equation by 64, then k is equal to 3. In this case, the polynomial p of x is equal to x to the fourth power plus 3x cubed minus 4x squared. Now you can verify your answer using synthetic division. Let's see if our k is correct. So from this point, since our polynomial expression is already written in standard form, and even if you in even if you add the missing terms, which is the linear term and the constant term, it doesn't matter because it's not in the middle. So we take the numerical coefficient, 1, 3, and negative 4. So using our r, which is negative 4, so following the procedure in solving synthetic division, so we bring down 1. So negative 4 times 1, that's negative 4. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. This means that the value of k is correct since your remainder is equal to 0. Now that it is clear to you how to determine whether the given binomial of the form x minus r is a factor of p of x, try these exercises. If you're done, post this video and flip the screen and verify your answer here. If you think Math Husay Math Tutorial helps you learn how to determine whether the given binomial of the form x minus r is a factor of p of x, give this video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sekreto para maging Math Husay, matuto at magensayo. Watch the next episode and learn how to factor polynomials using factor theorem, synthetic division, and depressed equations. Bye!